Literally, when you walk to any remote village, everybody knows her. Ah, Tara Nibari. <laughs> when I go to downtown or in this uh, area, they recognize me because I hang out with Pat. Everybody in these villages know park fairly well. Pat is called as a mother of the park. In Rana Mafana, Madagascar, and surrounding rainforests and villages, Dr. Patricia Wright is something of a household name. But the story that transformed Wright from a social worker living in New York City to the mother of the park on the other side of the world may never have happened were it not for a serendipitous encounter with a creature in a pet store window. It's an owl monkey, and I just fell in love. Just being with that monkey made me so intrigued by the things that it did. Curiosity about her new pet led Wright to Peru to witness owl monkeys in their natural forest habitat, and eventually back to school to learn primatology. My family thought I was crazy. Um, I was almost 40 years old, and here I was going back to graduate school. After a stint at the Duke Lemur Center brought her to Madagascar, Wright found a calling in studying endangered species. The greater bamboo lemur had not been seen in Madagascar in nearly 50 years. So I went to find out whether it was still alive or not, or whether it was extinct. We started looking every morning, every day, all day long, searching for some trace, some hope that the bamboo lemur was there. Suddenly there I saw this animal it was a kind of a orange-red color. Wright had stumbled upon a new species of lemur, previously unknown, the golden bamboo lemur, an incredibly important find for the fledgling conservationist. Wright also rediscovered the greater bamboo lemur. We didn't know whether they were alive or not in 1986, and then we found them, and they are alive and well today. Armed with two exciting finds, Wright had greater influence in local government to fight deforestation as it descended on Madagascar's lush rainforests. The timber exploiters arrived. It was just heartbreaking to hear those cracks and the falling and then the screams of the animals. This new species, the, the rediscovered species, all the other species of, of different plants and animals and everything were being destroyed. And that was the day when I became a conservationist. I think if we hadn't actually protected the park when we did, I don't think these animals would be alive today. If Pat had not come here, the forests would not be here, the lemurs would not be here. Wright worked to create the Ranamafana National Park in 1991, which saved sections of rainforest in Madagascar. In all, 18 national parks have been created since. To further bolster the protection of Madagascar's biodiversity, Wright created the Centre of Albio Research Station in order to help both local people and the international community better understand the value of conservation in Madagascar and around the world. I realized that you can't just study one thing, you can't just study lemurs, so I had to encourage other scientists to come. And pretty soon we had nearly 100 scientists coming to study every year. As in many countries around the world, creating an environment for good conservation often includes helping local people improve their lives. Conservation really starts here. It starts at the community level. We have to train the people how to preserve nature, and we have to do that by working with them and educating them and teaching them a better way of life. It's really a wonderful feeling to know that these people are growing up in a better way than they did in the past. She is a fundraiser, she runs a campus, she runs a global conservationist organization, and I think she's also a politician. It will be hard to find all of these in one person, and she has it all. Patricia Wright is an incredible woman. <laughs>